hell yeah and a little bit of amen a whole lot of work hard and throw in a little bit of play in the barbed wire on fence post tractor truck and on a county road down in the heartland of the stripes and stars yeah that's the kind of people 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 we are yeah that's the kind of people we are yeah that's the kind of people we are hey everybody welcome to the houston bernard show we appreciate you being here uh, very excited about sharing some new music from New England, uh, country music and all types of music. And of course, uh, Bud Crawford is here with me as usual. That's right. What's going on, man? How you doing? I'm doing all right. We, we, the last show we had like a whole green screen thing happening. I had a green shirt and it was kind of funny. Uh, today I wore the correct shirt or a correct shirt. I'm not sure. If red brings out the uh, the bloodshot in my eyes from all the margaritas I had last night, can I, but that's why there's a hat here with a shadow. It's working for me. Anyway, so I'm very excited. We have one of my favorite country artists from New England uh, as a guest today, Annie Ropes. She uh, she has a, a number of things, amazing qualities about her. That I like not not to mention uh, the least of it is her voice, uh, and she does a great job. And I'd like to uh, introduce you to her. Welcome, Annie. How's it going? Hi. Thank you so much for having me. Are you kidding me? Thanks for being on my show. This is number two show for me, and uh, I, I'm glad that you got to be here because I'd love to share my uh, your music with my audience. Awesome. Well, I'm excited. <laughs> cool. So so for those who don't or aren't familiar with your music or, or you, tell me a little bit about where you're from and or tell them about where you're from and uh, how you got into music. I grew up in Columbus, Ohio. Um, I relocated out to New England in 2007, I think it was, which sounds so long ago now. Um, and I started music, you know, singing in choirs as a kid and things, but never anything um, as a band or as a solo performer. Um, and I started song, I didn't start songwriting until I got out to New England. So all New England is where I built my music career and, and really learned how to do that. Still learning, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, um, yeah. That, that's kind of where I started. That's awesome. So what brought you to New England? Oh gosh. I love to say that um, people should listen to my first song that I wrote called Ghost. Ghost, which yes. Is out there now. It tells my little story, but it was a guy I was seeing in college. <laughs> uh, isn't that always the way? Yeah. Yeah, always. <laughs> For sure. So that was the first song you wrote. And then from there, you, so you were with a couple cover bands and then you kind of got into your own thing. I was out karaoke one night and <laughs> somebody was like, do you want to start a band? And so honestly, that's how my first cover band got started based out of Waltham. Um, and, and then from there, I went to a different cover band, which was um, performing at some of those big country venues. My right. first gig with them was opening for Joe Nichols at Toby Keith's, which was super, you know, thrilling. Um, and then from there, I started songwriting. So I met Roger, um, who is still in the band, acoustic guitar player, yeah. co-writer on everything. Uh, and, and Roger really made me start songwriting and telling my story. That's good. I mean, that's that's what songwriting is, is, is great for, right? It's uh, for a lot of people is, is just really getting your story out there. And it's therapeutic in, in so many different ways. So you inspire me in many different ways. And uh, I mean, that's what's great about, you know, having peers in an industry where you can look and go, oh, I like what they're doing. So there's a lot of things that I like that you're doing. And, and one of those things is how uh, <laughs> you're making lemonade. You started this last year during COVID and you did a bunch of house tours, a bunch of house tours. And, and tell us about that. So last, I think it was last March that this all began. We had just played out in California with, you know, um, your management. She helped us set up some shows out there. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, um, and we got back and Governor Baker said basically everything was shut down. Um, and so I took about a week to, to feel bad for myself. <laughs> and then I was like, there's enough of this. My fans are like wondering what we're doing next and what's going to happen. And, 
and um, live stream seemed to be a great option. So we did a house tour where we did a show in every room of our house. Um, and we called it the house tour. So we were in the bathroom, the closet. We had to clean out the basement, which Ryan was really excited about. <laughs> and um, the kitchen, it was super fun. Lots of good positive feedback online about it. Um, and so we then took it outside and did the house tour too, where we were around our house at the fire pit in our <laughs> shed on the porch um, at the goat pen. <laughs> so um, once we got done with house tour two, people were kind of wondering what was next because they had enjoyed this. And now the weather was starting to get nicer. So we thought the third installment should be on the back of our buddy it has a like a what looks like a mobile state you know it's just right. a that attaches to your car um and ryan and i booked a couple of shows announced that we were going to do this new third house tour the mobile edition and um and people started contacting us like how can we get you to come to our neighborhood uh so it turned out to be a stretch of like 30 neighborhood and cul-de-sac shows um throughout new england from july to october until it was too cold to do it yeah that's great that's that's a good idea to stay busy i, I did a lot of uh you know uh social media stuff and it was just like doing that for a while but i like getting out there like that where you're still social distancing you're outdoors you get to play some music i'm trying to convince bud to do it uh this year but then we have to get a, a trailer to do, to do what to go on a, a tour we're going to go on a tour I'll with say the word with annie <laughs> well, when I'm not playing, you can hire Manny to come drive you around. That's who drives oh my us God. around. It's hilarious. October's about the limit, right? For, for Yeah, October time. gets yeah. a little chilly. I was too cold, you know? Like, vocal cords don't work. <laughs> I mean, it's not too cold to be outside, but to perform, it's, it's Saturday. Yeah, it's a different thing. There's yeah. different tolerance for that. That's for sure. Yeah. That's for I sure. I feel so that. So like, yeah, your fingers get a little uh, Oh yeah, it's like cold, the, you know, it gets vocal. below 50 degrees, the fingers just don't work the same. That's true. I mean, like I, I can do it at 12 it degrees, off. but it's not, gonna, it's be your not best. gonna be the same. Yeah. Tell us about the song, Ain't, Ain't He the Worst? Is this uh, from a personal experience? I love a good like mid-tempo driving tune that just feels like you get in your car and you turn it up and you roll down your windows. And that's what that song is on the album. But it's um, the story is uh, about about a couple of fatherly figures in your life, um, or a boyfriend, um, or what have you. Um, but a male figure that that wants the best for you, and sometimes it's like daddy's tough love or things like that. That you're like, Ugh, he's the worst. Um, <laughs> but you know, you're really saying it like you know he's the best. So um, that's where that song came from. That's a great idea. We have that pre-recorded, so um, why, don't we, why don't we take a listen? Annie Bros, Ain't He the Worst. Here's our song, Ain't He the Worst.
drop to my knees and I ask God why ain't he the worst ain't he the Well, that was really nice, Annie. That was a great song. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so this is off of your new album. Tell me, you have a, just released a new album. We just dropped Where We Holler, which is our second full album, um, which is so exciting. You know, I, I think albums aren't created enough these days. So that's always how I envisioned releasing music in the form of albums and you know you can release a few singles off of it and then they have a big picture home so we're so proud of this one we while we're doing those house tours um we were also busy in the studio and uh we just we hope that people will love it as much as we do and the the album peaked on itunes at number two right yeah <laughs> um obviously i stayed up until midnight on release night and um, silly me, you know, Ryan and I are sitting there at the computer and we're like, okay, it's midnight, refresh the charts and whatever. And yeah. um, and we refresh them and then we realized it's going to be one because they update every hour. And so to read all the stuff that happened in the midnight hour, like all our pre-orders came through, we weren't going to see that reflection until one. So <laughs> we had to stay up a long time. Um, but yeah, it peaked at number two right before, right after Carrie Underwood, which is that's great. Awesome. And it's still in the top 10. I, I'm still smiling about it. <laughs> Tell our viewers where they can go check out. Obviously, iTunes. It's on iTunes, Spotify, Amazon. You can ask your Alexa to play it. Um, <laughs> and whatever, you know, digital music streaming service you have. I also have a merch package available, which includes a signed copy of the CD if you prefer the hard copy. Um, that's on my website, dannybrooks.com. I was also trying to think of uh, when we first met, because we've been playing in the New England country music scene. Uh, I know we've been playing in it since about 2012. Uh, we started uh, uh, an outlaw country band and then into the Houston Bernard project. And then uh, where I know you went solo around 2014-ish, 13? I couldn't even tell you. I think it was around 2014. Um, Cause I think it's been six years or so now since I've been solo, mm -hmm. but I don't even remember. I was, I was thinking of that. I'm like, where did we first meet? Um, I don't know if I saw you perform at Loretta's for some events or, um, or, or if it was like a random songwriters night in Dedham or something like that. Right. We used to do that. Yeah. Matt Casey yeah, uh, hooked those up. Know, we go back a ways. <laughs> For sure. I think I think we were playing the same venues and then we would ask, hey, how was this venue or what's going on here? And then I know you were you were uh, when Loretta's opened up, you were trying to get in there. So we got you in there, which is an awesome room. I love that space. It's that's my home spot. Shout out to Loretta's last call. Um, and then, of course, we played a bunch of festivals and, and different shows and the writers nights were always fun, too. Yeah, I you know. You mentioned that what we're doing is inspiring and how I've inspired you. But For I sure. remember when I first got into the scene and it was the Annie Brooks band, um, I would go everywhere and I saw, you know, banners and posters and venues that said you're the house band. And like, and I'm like, who is this guy? And I just had such dreams of like becoming like the female counterpart to what Houston Bernard was because you were just paving the way. And I was always so impressed with how you were everywhere. So you definitely <laughs> inspired my journey. <laughs> oh, well, that's that's very flattering and, and humbling. Thank you so much for that. It was uh, it was a interesting time and journey. And the thing I, and maybe you agree with this, the thing I um, learned the most is that it's really about longevity and enjoying the ride that you're on. And that was a hard lesson for me. And I think a hard lesson for a lot of people, just really enjoy what you're doing right now, continue to improve, and um, and it's it's a it's a long road, not a short road, you know. Yeah, you gotta love doing it 
you got to love doing it. Yeah, absolutely. But um, yeah, and I, you know, we're going to, you're going to hear on the road that leads me to Kentucky here in a little bit. Yes. Um, but that's what that song is all about. It's, it's like, don't forget to stop and close your eyes and take it in and really, you know, I was on the, literally on the road leading myself to Kentucky to visit a friend for that one. But um, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's, something that needs to happen because this journey can go away so quickly, you know? For sure. That's for sure. Comes and goes. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy it. I, I, uh, well, why don't you tell us about the, the song, On the Road? So yeah, in more words than that, I, I took a trip um, right at the turn of leaving my last cover band and starting the Annie Brokes band and doing an okay. original thing. I took a trip to visit my friend Shane, Shane Thomas, who's also a country artist. Um, he lives in Kentucky and I had met him in Nashville. So I grabbed oh. a buddy, we drove to Kentucky and um, he took me to see everything authentically Kentucky, which was like getting a biscuit at Tudor's Biscuit World and <laughs> drinking real Kentucky moonshine. And, there you and, go. Um, and and then we went and saw the Keith Whitley statue. Um, and right. I think, you know, that's a come to Jesus moment of like, wow, here's a, an amazing country artist who died way too soon. And, and you just have to soak up every mile, every minute, every inch along this journey, um, because you just don't know where it'll lead, when it will end. And, and so on the road that leads me to Kentucky is, is that story and that feeling. Well, I can't introduce it any better on the road that leads me to Kentucky. This is our song called On the Road That Leads Me to Kentucky.
Well, that was a beautiful song, Annie. Thank you for sharing it with us. Thank you so much for letting me play it for you. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! I love, I love road songs. Yeah, road songs are great. Yeah. Uh, speaking of the road, so what's what's next for you? You're gonna you've got some shows coming up. Yeah, so um, we're gonna do a, an encore installment of that house tour mobile stage. Great. So we're. Um, we have a full, very full month of May of those shows. So keep an eye out for us. There's a lot of public ones that people can bring their coolers and chairs to and join us. Um, and then at the end of May, we're gonna do a huge parking lot party at Breakaway in Danvers, which we are so oh. excited about. Big outdoor show. They've got little squares. You can, you and your party stay in your square. <laughs> and great. it's gonna be a great night. Awesome, very nice. And and give please give our viewers your your website one more time. Okay, and I think I didn't mention um the breakaway show is May twenty eighth. Okay. Um, but they can find our whole calendar and music and videos and everything you need to know on anniebropes dot com or just search for me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I have a TikTok, TikTok. which is crazy. You're and rocking fun. a TikTok. <laughs> but you can find me just about anywhere. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being on my show. It's number two, and I, I know that we have some, you know, little bumps and bruises here, but uh, you, you took the time, and I really appreciate it. And I'm very happy for your success in your new album. Well, thank you so much. I think this is a great thing you're doing, and, and I'm happy to um, to be part of it and see your face even like this. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, hopefully I'll see you sometime this summer. Absolutely. I hope so. Okay. Take care of yourself. Bye. Bye. Bye, bud. Bye. <laughs> Hey folks, how's it going? I just want to thank you so much for, for tuning in, watching our show. A big thank you to Annie Brooks. She's an amazing artist. Please go check her, her music out, iTunes everywhere. And um, you can check our music out as well, HoustonBernard.com. We've got some we've got some music, right, bud? Yeah, we've done a little bit over the years. <laughs> what, I think three albums and a, and a bunch of singles now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, Working on some new stuff. And we hope to get out this summer. We've got some shows happening. I, I don't know them all, but if you wanted to check them out, we'll put them on the website at some point, HoustonBernard.com. And uh, you'll see Bud at most of these shows, that's for sure. Yeah. What do you have going on, Bud? What are you working on? Well, I'm working on my home recording setup. Okay. As you know. Yeah. Um, I had a buddy of mine, uh, Jeff, built me a box to put my guitar speaker in. So you can do the recording. So with... I can record with real microphones and everything. Um, and right. the world can't hear it. And <laughs> it can't hear the world. So <laughs> That's what you want when you record. It's isolated. It doubles as a, as, a, as a tiny little scream room too. If I need to just let out a, <laughs> <laughs> let out a primal yell, I can go in there and nobody can hear it. I might have to borrow that sometime. Although there's, there's no, yeah, it's, yeah. That's a joke. Yes, no, I get it. I, I think you get I it, don't, right? I don't it's, crawl inside that. It's a joke. There's no screaming. Yeah. Well, well, we, there's definitely screaming. <laughs> I just don't do it inside the box. But I get got some. Box. I got a couple of couple of little bits of equipment that come in that that'll improve that. So very cool. So that's good. So I'm gonna use that on the new Houston Bernard stuff. Yeah. So we're recording. Yeah. We're recording some new new music as well. Yeah. Um, we've got a couple things uh, on the horizon, and I I have just released a couple songs, Small Town Way and. That's right. Without You Honey, so you can check that new music out. And then People We Are, the video is actually getting on 
CMT. So it'll be the second video uh, on CMT. We, of course, we've made a bunch of videos. Uh, so if you want to check those out, you, you see them on YouTube uh, under Houston Bernard Band. So, um, well, if you have any artists, if you know any amazing artists and you would like them to be a guest on our show, uh, feel free to email the station we'll, we'll, or, or just hit me up directly. I'd be happy to take a look at the music. And um, if you have any comments, questions, I answer all my emails and um, I'd love to hear from you. Well, anyway, thanks for, for joining us on the Houston Bernard Show and we'll see you soon. That's the kind of people